Tyler Smith, the third year resident, chief resident as well. So I applied mostly in the region. I'm from Southeastern Ohio and went to school in West Virginia. So I was comfortable with the, this area. And, um, you know, this place stood out to me as having a lot of opportunities to especially get a good experience as an intern. Um, and is close to home and is taking care of the people that I cared about. Personally, when I first started here, I was like, there's no way I'm gonna stay in Little Parkersburg. Like I've spent enough time at West Virginia and Ohio. Like I wanna kinda go out and fly the coop and be somewhere different. Well, then I kinda got here and um, met a great person and started a family. And that, that kind of started the whole process of, you know, Parkersburg's a really good place to live. It's a quiet town, you're close to everything. It's, where nature's close by, towns or cities are close by. Um, I'm close to family as well. So the decision quickly kind of turned into an obvious one to stay. Um, and it's gonna be a really easy transition too to being a hospitalist. I think that how much valued you are as a resident here is really important and it's different than what I've seen at other places. You know, we get the park in the doctor's lot. Um, we get talked to by attendings and um, recruiters approach us. We go to all of the med staff events. We get treated kind of as if we're a part of the staff and faculty here. And so it makes it really easy to transition to the next level and be comfortable with like, I don't feel any need for growing pains going forward as transitioning to a hospitalist working here. Is I'm, I've been here, done that. Um, it's gonna be a part of the system and it feels really comfortable for me. I'm Usman Akbar. I'm a first year resident, the intern. Um, I'm basically from Pakistan. I moved to US in 2020. Then I got matched to this place in 2023. And I love this place since then. It has been my home, my second home. As an IMG, uh, I rotated at different hospitals, Louisville, New York. I worked as a research uh, scholar in New York for one year and I got to rotate uh, there at in one of the New York hospitals or so. Uh, I had rotated uh, when I was applying for my residency at this hospital. The one thing I want to mention um, that I love the collegiality. I love how the people, the residents and the staff, they're very close to each other and they're very approachable. Uh, I can talk to them. I even can share my personal things with them and they would, because I'm an IMG, so I have like different kind of like, you know, challenges coming to this country or so. So they are very supportive of the fact and they would uh, lend a hand, they would help me out in each and everything. As an intern, uh, when you transition from, I was a research scholar to back residency, yes, it is hard. It's hard for everyone. Um, you are into clinical life. You are dealing with a lot of patients. Many of them will be sick. Um, so they're gonna be like very, some hard days and they're gonna be very like, you know, easy days. So it's kind of like, where you do you find your balance? So it's kind of tricky as an intern uh, because you have work as well, you're learning new things. Um, but it, the good thing, like I mentioned before, that our program really cares about residents. This is a message to the kind of like the future applicants who will be applying and who uh, wants to apply and wants to explore this program, please uh, rotate at this program. It's very important to get the vibe of this program. This was my kind of goal uh, when I was rotating at programs, different program across the United States to get the feel of the program. You're gonna spend three years of your life at a hospital and you will make friends uh, like for a longer term. So you're gonna make the right choice. Uh, it is really important to make the right choice because that will impact how do you how well you train, how do you interact with people, how do you kind of interact with patients. And this program, uh, believe me, it has been phenomenal in supporting the residents and that is, I think, the best thing happened to me since I came to the United States.